Irunua Forestry. The present acreage under state forests in the 26 counties is about 450,000 acres, 182 hectares. Privately owned forests, which include a considerable amount of ornamental or landscape planting and shrubs, brings this figure to the region of 550,000 acres, 223,000 hectares. The percentage of land planted is thus 3% which is considerably below that of any other European country, including the Netherlands, where the area planted is 8%. <coughs> there has been a steady improvement in state planting in recent years, the average now running at 25,000 acres, 10,000 hectares yearly. State forests planted in the six counties cover an additional area of 120,000 acres, 49,000 hectares. There is only slight autonomy of management of the program within the, Depart the Department of Lands, which of course is civil service controlled. Forestry workers totaling 5,000 men formerly, formerly among the lowest paid in the country are now somewhat better off, having for some time been placed on an incentive for outpost basis. There is not as much seasonal unemployment as formerly, as many of the workers are engaged in road works during the slack period. Local workers are employed where available, but this is not always possible, and men from other areas are brought in. In a few cases, three schools have been established, and there is a chair of forestry at UCD. Because of the inflexible nature of civil service control, the felling and marketing of timber has gone into the hands of private enterprises. The cost of imports of timber, cork, and cardboard into the 26 counties is considerable. The state here hopes eventually to make a yearly profit of 15 million pounds from forest sales when its target of one million acres is reached. If the target is doubled to two million acres, the income would eventually double also to three million pounds at present values. Turf fuel production commenced under state control in 1934 and almost 30 million pounds have been invested in it with the use of peat fuel for electric power production the output has increased substantially. The greater part is consumed by the ESB, and there is also briquette production. The number of workers employed is 6,400, including 400 administrative, but also, but, but about 1,000 1, workers are laid off during the off-peak period. Upland grazing, turbari, and sheep cominage rights are important factors in the rural economy, especially in mountain areas. Sheep production is considered wasteful by grassland experts unless the hill slopes are cultivated and protected for the purpose which generally they are not. A forestation improvement of upland grazing and peat fuel production are complementary to one another. Under the Sinn Féin government, they will be brought under the control of a semi-state authority by means of such rationalization and other means. Seasonal unemployment would be entirely eliminated and a high level of output and income per worker achieved while mobility of up to 25 miles 40 kilometers radius would be attained, the higher degree of unemployment in the given area could permit the permanent settlement of urban villages created for the purpose or in uh, accretions on existing towns of the workers maintained by authority. The workers in such an authority will be established in a trade union and will be considered as and paid to be skilled operatives as planners, engineers, machine oper operatives, foresters, and office and administrative staff. There will be basic wage scale, a system of incentives, and a built-in social security sc scheme. Housing will be provided.
The authority will plan and control afforestation, peat production, and upland grazing in all areas of the 32 counties. It will be possible to have a satisfactory interchange of unsuitable land with suitable land and to establish a long-term sequence of peat production followed by uh, afforestation or drainage for normal land use where the case requires it. The authority will have in its uh, ownership or under its control almost 5 million acres of bog, mountain, and under underdeveloped land. It will be its responsibility to bring its a rapidly to bring it rapidly to a state production under whatever manner it possible to create direct employment for 150,000 men, who in themselves would constitute a valuable increase in the non-food producing cadre of wage earners. The authority's head office will be in a major provincial area. It will maintain workshops, planning departments, and sales offices. The aforementioned program will be planned to create a minimum of 2 million acres, 110,000 hectares, of commercial forestry apart from privately controlled plantations. Major emphasis will be in northern, western, and Geltacht areas. Planning, will, planning with a view to rapid industrial development and enlarged employment will be an important aspect in all Geltacht regions careful planning for the different needs of lumber forestry and commercial forestry will be foremost, with a major place given to future requirements for building, furnishing, and the new uses of timber engineering. On the one hand, with the heavy demands of a paper, pulp, cellulose, plastic, alcohol, and chemical industry on the other, the planting program calls for the creation of 50,000 acres 20,000 hectares of new forestry annually. This difficult target can be met only by the transposing of large areas at present used for cheap grazing to forest uses and by the improvement of suitable uplands to multiply the amount of sheep cropping upon it. The, the Corps of skilled foresters and engineers would be permanently based in each production area to meet the three needs of forestry, peat and grazing cultivation. These teams would be available to work with local agricultural cooperatives in these enterprises and in laying down shelter belts. Private planting as such would be encouraged and higher grants together with full technical assistance made available. There would be a considerable reduction of the quota of foreign imported hardwoods except where these were imported for processing as veneers, block boards, and laminates, laminates. The authority would, where necessary, establish under its control all industries including a paper mill, necessary to consume the entire output and together with the state agency would enter the export sales market in a major way. The management of forest parks and mountain areas will be a minor but nonetheless important aspect, especially in the field of tourism. Subject to increased rationalization on the lines required to enable stable and satisfactory employment to be maintained, no major change change is envisaged in the program already laid down for board Namona, as its success must lie in the degree of liaison maintained between it and the electricity supply board. Close contact would be maintained to meet the power supply needs of the latter. The maintenance of peat production for electrical supply will eventually end and the authority must plan that di what diversification diversification is necessary to ensure employment in the transitional period. Increased research into chemical production from peat is urgent and must be undertaken as a profitable sideline. A marginal improvement in moss peat sales for export should be possible with the new sales team. Despite the reduction of mountain grazing available due to the increased afforestation affor program, it is envisaged that as a result of measures outlined for 
afforestation, the production of sheep in upland areas could be trebled.